So the first exercise we did uh, was an incline dumbbell press. Um, I like to start on something like this where I can put my everything into it um, and go quite heavy. As you can see, I'm on my own. I haven't got my training partner here today. Um, he's away on holiday, did you believe? Uh, so I'm not gonna go mass weight. I'm, uh, I'm working within myself, uh, but that's why I incorporated a few drop sets towards the end and uh, a bit of time under tension as well. So just to help push through those plateaus to keep me going. Um, but obviously not risking injury by going too heavy and compromising form. Today that does. to go yet a long way to go so the second exercise is a seated pec deck uh, for me I love this because it keeps constant tension on throughout the movement so on the eccentric and concentric part um, I went for four to five working sets we were already warmed up obviously done the heavy weights on the dumbbells so this was more about keeping constant tension straight up to my maximum weight um, and just really getting as many reps out as I could Push it 
So the third exercise we moved on to is a decline uh, press. We went for uh, free weights instead of machine, uh, just to, to touch the, the free weights again. It's a great angle this machine of hammer strength. Um, and for me, I went for four working sets, progressing up in weight each set, and then the drop set at the end was halving the weight and just getting as many reps as I could. We then moved on to cables with a supported bench. Uh, we did it on like a bit of a, an incline um, and it just to really target uh, your chest. A bit similar to the pec deck, had the same feel for that, aiming for the thickness, um, but a great exercise. You can't go too heavy with that. I noticed the heavier I went, I was lifting off, the weight was trying to take me off the bench. So this is more about mind to muscle and getting a feel for it rather than mass weight. So the last exercise was a dumbbell pullover. Um, a lot of people think that's to do with your lats. Uh, it is, um, two ways of doing it. For me, if I'm trying to focus on my lats, I'll use a straight barbell. If I'm trying to hit my chest, I'll go for a dumbbell with a closed grip. Um, again, increasing in weight each set, but making sure the focus is still on my chest and I'm not engaging my shoulders or my lats too much. Now we're gonna move on to triceps. The reason for that is I'm trying to hit, hit them twice uh, a week at the minute. Because it's one of my weaker muscle parts, I'm just trying to uh, hit them twice and get a bit of blood volume after my chest workout, and then I'll hit them properly on their own later on in the week. So the last two exercises was a superset and that was just incorporating triceps into my chest workout. Obviously tricep is your secondary muscle to your chest. Uh, so I wanted to just yeah, get a bit of blood volume. It's not mass weight, it was more the 15 to 18 rep range. Uh, three sets on the superset. So uh, minimal rest, 30 seconds, uh, and it's just a great way to finish a workout. Look, I'm still trying to get my breath. Uh, but now, now the workout's done, we're gonna go upstairs and because we're yeah, eight weeks out from the Olympia, I'm gonna be now practicing a lot of my posing, a bit of ice attention, um, and just seeing where we're at on my prep.
That's my secret weapon. <laughs> That's my sauce. Well, I don't Maybe know if you've got some of these again. Yeah. No, they're not the ones, but we'll use those anyway. How many have we got? Two bags? Yeah, we'll get two more. Let me check them. Yeah. Nice one. A conspicuous car. <laughs> Me too, I love garlic. Yes. How do you have your steak normally, Ryan? So I go for medium, but I try and get it as crispy as possible on the outside. And uh, yeah, just slightly pink in the middle for cam. It's probably not going to work like that now, is it? <laughs> Right guys, I'm going to quickly show you through what one of my meals consists of. Um, I'm currently on six meals a day and all of them consist of a good protein source, uh, high carbs, so we're still on high carbs or a complex carb and uh, vegetables of some sort, mainly greens. Um, and then what I tend to do is go for white turkey, chicken or like white meat, white fish in the day. I'll go for eggs mid-morning and I'll go for my fatty protein source in the evening, so that's a steak or a salmon uh, before bed. We are eight weeks out, so the, the portion sizes are still quite large. Um, I'm eating a lot more food on this prep as well, and my body is lapping it up and enjoying every bit of it, but uh, I do think over the next few weeks, we're over halfway from the Olympia, so I think we're gonna be starting to, to dip into them now. But as it, start, as, it, as it goes, this meal consists of 165 grams, of chicken, we have 175 grams of cooked weight white rice, white basmati rice, perfect, just have a handful of mixed peas, I don't really count any of my vegetables as carbs. <laughs>
Good run. 12 calories on the air bike. 12. And you're hanging like crazy. Okay. Two minutes rest, repeat, but with DHT. 